very good, my friends. In today's video, we are going to take a look to the last trail camera that I just bought. It's the third camera, the third trail camera that I bought. And this one has everything the other ones was missing. I'm going to tell you all the good things about this trail camera. And also we will see the bad things. So this one costs like 80 euros on Amazon. I will let you the link here. And also at the end of the video, you will find the videos to the other cameras right there so you can compare what is best for you the other one was much much cheaper the first one cost me like 20 euros near 10 euros and the other one like 40 so this is double but let's see if it was pay that money okay. okay here is the box of the camera here is the camera let's see it has tft lcd screen and most important is in the front this is very important you will see later why because we can place the camera and see what is going to record this is something that any one of the other cameras has and this is going to make the difference in the footage we are going to take with the camera it also came not very important but we will use it later uh, like a tripod that you can put in a tree in your house in a wall everywhere you want so you can fix the camera and adjust the footage instruction it came also an usb cable to extract the data this doesn't came you need a mic a sd card i'm using a micro sd card with this adapter i have here okay here are some other specs let's see what is interesting here up to 32 gigabyte sd cards okay 90 degrees formats up to 16 megapixel pictures we'll see the pictures let's see i will post one on the instagram so you can check the quality it record in abi this is nice i like it and it's 180 full HD resolution this time i hope is true because the previous one was not true temperature monitoring yes we can even connect it to a power supply or we can use four or a a, a batteries that we will see okay it weighs 280 grams without the batteries but the batteries weigh quite a lot because it consumes a lot of batteries okay here is the green here are the buttons here are the sensors the the led the camera okay we are going to see how much batteries okay we press here and here we have the battery holder you see i just put eight batteries you can put only four and it's going to work and we can attach also to a tripod that you can see here okay things that i really like it i told you the, the screen is in the front we can place the camera and see what we are going to record the second thing that i really like about this camera is that the belt is quite long i think it's two meters that is going to allow it to put it to bigger trees to thicker trees that's nice let's put it on test mode so we can configure the camera okay we must very beautiful insert memory card okay let's turn off let's insert the memory card okay this side no ah, okay it's here nice because the config i think is stored in the sd card so now we can configure the camera let's see the first thing card error okay let's try again okay now seems to work the first thing i'm going to do is to format the sd card so we will not have any problem hopefully later we click menu okay menu again, let's click uh, menu okay menu we go to format perfect we press ok yes we want to format the sd card i recommend you to do that first waiting we are waiting we are waiting for matching success ah that's perfect 
the first thing we are going to see is what we have in the menu mode video photo picture we have both modes first we are going to try with the video because I want to record per interval that means um, let me check the instructions one cool thing about this uh, camera is that the instructions came in English French Dutch Italian Spanish and I don't know if Chinese or Japanese I don't know okay Peer interval. This function allows you to set the interval between when the camera starts shooting again after shooting once. Okay, we are going to set this to the minimum, two seconds, because I don't want to miss anything. It's nothing less. No, two seconds. Okay, peer sensitivity. Let's try middle first. Ah, uh, capture series. What does it mean? I think this is for pictures. Set the number of photos you take each time. Okay. I'm not going to use it right now, but I will set it three for the next time. So we will take it three photos every time it detects some uh, motion. Video length. Okay. I want to record uh, maybe for 30 seconds. Okay next thing video resolution maximum of course uh photo resolution uh, who is who wants to take worse pictures than possible yes i mean if you want to take a lot of pictures and you don't have too much memory you will set it low but i want to take the best picture possible stamp whether display watermark information or not okay i want to see the water information because we will see temperature and these things date format i'm sorry but i'm going to put it to the spanish format we are used here units temperatures centigrade okay ir brightness the um, medium let's try medium language english is okay so you can understand system time okay today is not uh, this day okay this is going to be 24 nice what else time lapse okay you can do also time lapse no 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 timer settings no timer camera name okay no camera name oh we can set a password so we can pro keep protected or recordings audio recording yes i want to record audio also let's check beep sound okay let's beep firmware nothing nothing default no <laughs> no no default okay we have finished with the configuration now we are going to go to test we can see here in the interface the time the current temperature the sd card is plugged it's in video mode and it's in full acti resolution and genesis pack Maybe it's the time we have for recording? Very little. Okay, let's go. Hey, Mr. White, we are going to record you. Yes? Okay? You are going to be the first one to be recorded by the trade camera. I'm going to style it there and let's see how you look like. Let's see. I can place it there. Yes. Could be. Could be. That's possible. Yeah. Stay away. No, 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 wait, okay, let's place it here, there is with, uh, okay, 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 good, let's place it here like this, okay, whoa, it's very long, first we insert here like this, okay, Okay, let's close and let's configure it. Okay, uh, good. Let's see the footage. It's not going to be very good. 
so let's move it okay let's place it there now we turn on okay there is the countdown and when the countdown stops it's going to start to record white you need to go there go there please yes go okay let's get the car now we have to place it in a car reader like this one it's an usb car reader okay i plug it to the computer and let's check the footage I cannot leave it there, it's too obvious. You go or walking around and it's going to be too easy to find. So I just will take a picture and place it in another place. Let's place some branches around. Let's check the footage. Okay, let's put it on, on, on. I don't know if you can see the camera for me it's pretty obvious where it is but I don't know for you that you haven't seen me placing have you seen the camera or not let me know in the question I mark here I think it's a good location I don't expect anyone to go there